Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Moongoddess Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about his and her feelings and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And we are going to start with an Oracle deck and find out about your energy and your person's energy and see where it takes us. Let's see what is coming up. Okay, we'll go. We've got Urus, the bull, strength for you. And this is about power and creativity, but it connects to the high priestess. So it's not the power from your ego self. It is the power of your being, of your soul. So it looks like you know where you are heading, you know what you want. You are very strong and uh, standing in your power. Okay, let's see what else is showing up. For your person, we've got the torch, passion. It is uh, the chariot energy it's connecting to. So your card was connecting with the high priestess and theirs is the chariot. So they want to move forward and um, they have this picture in their head what the two of you can become and um, they don't feel satisfied with where they are at at this time because the other torch is not lit so there will be some ideas they want to run by you, some things they want to talk to you about. Okay, so let's look into this energy deeper. Starting with you, Virgo, what energies are showing up on your side? Huh, you've got the chariot with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups at the bottom. So um okay you are lo looking within and you are moving forward not necessarily towards your person but this knight of swords is quite an impulsive energy it is something like you fear you must do it is more like a, an ego kind of um, push for some reason and this four of cups is about you getting tired of uh, what is happening with your person, um, looking at the situation which could be actually a third party situation and um, not knowing how to actually make this work. So you are moving towards something, but not necessarily towards your person. You do feel alone. You do feel you want to be with someone. You want to have a partner, a soulmate, someone you can settle down with. Could be a twin flame, but um, it's um, your desire to not to be alone any, any longer. Okay, let's see more about this. Six of Wands, Magician and the Knight of pentacles so you forgo are working on things in your life to manifest um, could be um, your work some some plans you are manifesting and we've got the three of pentacles the knight of cups and the empress so i believe that you would like to work together with your person not work work but more like building this connection if they were willing to show their love and then we have the six of pentacles with the five of cups and the high priestess actually showing up so you are thinking through how much this connection means to you how much you put in how much you gained from it in, in the best possible way and uh, you find yourself alone once more. So regardless of what happened in the past, what was said, um, you are still feeling like there is no one standing next to you, by you. 
and um, so you are really searching your soul right now about this situation so far you could be dealing with a cancer virgo libra or cancer again pisces also we have with the moon card okay so now let's look into your love interest energy where they are at because they have this passion and they want to move towards you they want to move forward together with you so let's see what we can find out about them we've got balancing and roots with the hanged man and the judgment card change at the bottom so they definitely hope that things are going to change for the better and they desperately want to find balance it feels like that the two of you could be opposites in many ways and um, they want to find a way so they are kind of stubborn about this they don't want to give up this connection ace of pentacles roots um it's very interesting because it's like their physical world and then we've got the handman with the judgment card which is re representing more of the the spirit world the universe the soul power and um, they are also trying to balance their physical and spiritual side okay so let's see more about this we've got the perfection queen of um, swords with compassion which is the strength card so they try to set their boundaries they try to uh, be compassionate about the situation uh, they see you as the queen of wands with spontaneity and the turning point which is um, the chariot again yeah um, so we have chariot three times twice on their side once on your side and um, they don't give up they just want to get um, what they want from you and they believe it is in reach for them eight of ones with um, karma so this is about um, they want to tell you how much they um, feel this attraction towards you and this is not just physical attraction it is soul attraction as well there is a key which this person is uh, jumping after so i do believe that you two can be like yin and yang very different but when you come together it all feels so balanced and beautiful uh, karma said here is possible that your person is try starting to see the consequences of their previous actions and we've got the four of ones with the ten of pentacles dance and privilege so they adore you they want to um okay so i'm quiet because i'm getting a few versions of the story here let me just go with one hold on so this ten of pentacles because what i can feel here is this dancing going on is with you and this behind bars which sounds a bit weird but um, they could feel imprisoned because they do already have a connection, the third party. And uh, it's like they don't want to give up their privileges. It's like being free and doing what they want. And this is uh, being um, 
wealthy in a material way. So there is stuff going on there. And we've got the Five of Swords, Arrogance with the Page of Swords, Scrutiny. So this could be the reason why you are feeling like things are not going the way you actually want them to be with your person. Um, so yeah, it is interesting. Here we have uh, Pisces again, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, and Sagittarius showing up. Okay, so let's see what is the obstacle between the two of you. Because by the look of it, you are just doing you and being sad about being still alone when you really wanted to get together with this person, but they have a third party. We've got the gift, giving and receiving, balance, again, gratitude, and this is connecting to the lovers. So, yeah, I do feel your person does realize that balance is needed and they feel that they have to set the balance right between the two of you. And um, with this energy here, it's like... None of you really see that this connection is a gift. Let's see on your side, Virgo. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles showing on your side with the Queen of Swords at the bottom and King of Pentacles on their side with the Eight of Swords and the... Death card on the bottom. So Virgo, you are setting your boundaries because but we can understand this two different ways. Like you feel your person is your match and you want them to be with you. But they, what uh, first it was shown is they are with someone else, this King of Pentacles. And you are just saying, well, you know, if you are with someone else, then I am not going to be with you. So this is quite strong you know what you want and they know that they are the king of pentacles committed married to the third party but they might be blaming either the third party or you or both of you uh, for being behind bars again behind bars not literally but feeling imprisoned, can't do what they really want to do. And they fear that they, um, I'm getting being reborn in the name of love. This, this is what spirit is giving me. Like the love they feel towards you is making them rethink their life. Scorpio energy is showing up again. We've got the outcome, which is nurturing, caring, empathy, tenderness, and this is the em uh, Empress, yeah. This is connecting to the Empress and this is Virgo energy. So you both care about each other, but right now you are moving away from your person because you put yourself first and your person is trying to come towards you because they realize that what they have with you, they don't have with the third party. Now, there are plenty of problems here. On your side, Virgo, you are trying to decide what to do and you are protecting yourself very much, but you do know this is a mutual love connection regardless. And on your person's side, we've got the king of swords which is power the tower which is crisis and the four of cups which is frozen so your person is desperately trying to balance the situation between the two of you and within them there is this giant uh, turmoil they are being in their head their heart is frozen but the storm is stirring things up 
And that is about the connection with you and the connection with the third party. And um, that again, being reborn, look at that. This is the deaf card. There is the skull and the baby, newborn baby. Refresh, there is this old face and the baby face, the inner child. So I believe that this situation is pushing your love interest, putting them under enormous pressure to do the right thing, to choose the right thing. Okay, interesting. So Aries energy is showing up. Virgo, let's, let's sum this up so far. So you two are moving into different directions. You are moving forward very fast on your chariot, toward, chariot towards your goals. And your person is moving towards you. So you are moving away from them. They are moving towards you on their chariot. And um, the obstacle, the biggest obstacle is that maybe none of you see this as a gift, but your person definitely doesn't. And um, you are trying to hold back because you don't want to destroy their connection, but they are blaming you or the third party, someone else, for this situation not going forward the way they want it to. And um, there is some giant shift happening within them right now. I'm going to continue this in the extended Virgo. If you are a Patreon member already, you will receive that immediately. And if you are not, then you are very welcome to join or you have a one-off link in the description box. And in the extended, I will dig into this. What is this imbalance in your person's life? Like within them, with the third party, with you. So what is actually happening? Because they definitely are spinning around and... Um, it's a, a very unsettled energy, but they want to sort it out. They want to find balance. And um, you both care about each other. So um, I feel that for now, maybe that is the outcome without any action. They do want to talk to you at one point, but for now it could be just quiet. And I know that's difficult. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the extended or next time. Take care. Bye for now.